Hi everyone, my name is Evan. And I'm Pamela, and we are from the Animal and Veterinary Service, a cluster of the National Parks Board. Today we have Ms. Selena from the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, or more commonly known as SPCA. Hi everyone, my name is Selena, and over here we have Big Boy. He is a Singapore special, and he is part of the TNRM program, the Trap Neuter Release Manage program. The TNRM program for stray dogs was launched in November 2018 with AVS. 11 participating animal welfare groups and the Singapore Veterinary Association. We are going to bring you through what is TNRM. The TNRM program, grounded in science, involves humanely catching community dogs and sterilizing them to manage the dog population. TNRM is conducted nationwide and SPCA, as the lead animal welfare group, partners us in coordinating efforts for the program. As part of the program, we set up corral traps and work closely with feeders to trap the dogs and bring them to veterinary clinics for sterilisation. This is the SPC clinic where we sterilise the community dogs. Our target is to sterilise 70% of community dogs in Singapore over a five-year period. Come, let's see the work of the SPCA clinic. After the dogs have been caught, they are brought to our partnering vet clinics or the SPC clinics where they will be sterilised, microchipped and vaccinated. Those that cannot be rehomed may be released at suitable locations to live out their lives naturally. Let us visit the home of one of the Singapore Specials adopted by Dinesh. Hi, my name is Dinesh. This is my uncle Manoj and this is our 8-month-old Singapore Special Kaya. We adopted Kaya at the start of this year uh, and we've been having a great time with her since. She's full of energy and loves to play. When our last dog, Rampage, uh, passed away last year, uh, we were looking for, for a new puppy. So, um, after looking around, doing a bit of research, I think we decided that adopt, adopting was something that we wanted to do. So, uh, when Kaya was found and rescued at the back of a condo in Yishun, her foster mom uh, got in touch with us. So, we came down and uh, visited her. And I think we decided that, yeah, she's, she's the one. So. It took us maybe about a day or so to come to the decision and then yeah, we brought her home. When we first got her, uh, she was uh, very skittish, uh, very scared, always hiding in corners. Um, it took a while for her to come out of her shell. All right? um, but now you can see she rules the house. Uh. She goes everywhere, she's not scared of anything. This is her territory, these are his people. So she's fine now, you know. Very different from how she was when, she, when, when we first got her. Uh, she's very affectionate to everyone in the family. She um, can be a bit anxious when she's left alone, but otherwise um, she gets on with everyone in the house. And she's particularly sensitive to the my elderly mother-in-law. She doesn't jump on her or anything like that. So she's got a certain um, uh, smartness about her, which um, uh, we are beginning to appreciate every day. La. M in TNRM stands for manage and refers to the management of the stray dog community and the concerns of the public, if any. AVS carries out public education and engagement through community events supported by animal welfare groups such as our Pets Day Out where animals can be adopted. We are happy to share that since the launch of the TNRM program, more than 2,400 dogs were sterilised and more than half rehomed or fostered. Dog owners, you can do your part by microchipping and licensing your pet dogs for traceability. And should you encounter our community dogs, stay calm. Do not run or shout. We can do our part by coexisting harmoniously with our community dogs in our city in nature. <laughs>